All right, so here's a new one in the shop. Never seen one of these before. We're looking at, uh, what's that, the Caring Master. Looking at a Briggs and Stratton engine. I see right here it has etched in Murphy rental, so this obviously was a rental at one time. There's the model number. And the model number for the engine is back here, but I have that written down and I'll share it with you just here on the screen. I'll put it up. Basically, this came in. The fellow that owns it made these blocks because he knew that I'd be wanting to prop it up and make sure it was running. And so he made these blocks for me. He actually carved a little groove in the top of the block for this and he put a gap in that part of the block for the blades and for the most part it worked uh, I don't know what F36 means maybe that was the rental part number I don't know I'll look into that but there it is it's a little hard to pull but I didn't have to do anything except uh, fix the recoil because the recoil rope broke and then the plastic piece inside here broke. So I put a new rope in, wound up the spring, threw a little fresh gas in it, fresh oil, clean spark plug, a little squirt of starting fluid to give her a pop. And once it started, it stayed running. So that's a good thing. Some non ethanol gas and some sea foam just to clean it up. The smoking finally stopped. <laughs> but. And I put new fuel line on it as well. So the fuel line off the carburetor here has this metal heat shield because the muffler's right there. Wraps around this side of the engine and then connects to the um, fuel valve there. So there it is. Something I'm never going to use, but now it's running for the guy who will use it. So, all right, thanks for watching.